Okay, so this next, as I said, there seemed like there was a lot that was missing in this section of dreams linked to um, the Thompson family, especially Willie's mom. This idea of them in the 60s. Um, the cookies, the cars, Woodsy, Farmer's Granges. Um, so what happened then, this was at 3 a.m. I wrote all this down. I tried to go back to sleep, and then I got these weird sort of short little visions. So one, I get this idea of alternate identity, and then this word alter slave linked to um, sort of the square kind of thing. And I think, you know, these images that I had while Chris was in the hospital that I thought were linked to maybe heart things related to the heart. So, I mean, it almost looks like it could be an attache case of some sort or something, um, maybe some type of control box or something. I don't know. Um, but after I woke up and I thought about it, I realized that alter, A-L-T-E-R, is an MK Ultra term. Slave seems to be an MK Ultra term, um, but it's also legitimate. And it, since yesterday was supposedly like this uh, Juneteenth anniversary of, you know, and people kept talking about the end of slavery in the United States as if it was over and it's not over because, in fact, MK Ultra is a slavery system. And... People have you think that you're um, enslaved simply because they're controlling you, like mentally, they've programmed you to be a slave, but that's not the case. My experience of this is that people are enslaved because they've built up systems of um, capture around them. So in my case, it comes in the form of blacklisting, and it comes in the form of um, uh, doctors who are, um, you know, they're, you know, Doctors are supposed to actually have you as a client as well as a patient. They're not supposed to have you as a patient and then someone else is their client. If you're a doctor's patient but someone else is their client, in other words, if someone else is telling the doctor how you should be treated, um, then you're essentially being enslaved by those doctors. Those doctors are part of a slavery system because they're not working on your behalf. They're working on someone else's behalf. And that is definitely the case with me. And you can even see it in my medical records. There's cases in my medical records where the doctors appear to be writing to somebody else, like the, as if they're writing to another entity. There's a um, one instance where a doctor is explaining why he says he's going to deny my medical marijuana card, which he didn't end up doing because it would have been ridiculous for him to do that. Um, but, um, you know, it's like, who is this guy writing to? He's, he's, it's like he's writing to, um, some sort of, um, overseer or something, you know, that's how the slavery system is enacted. It's like employers become slaveholders, teachers become, and not even slaveholders, but, Overseers is what they are. They're taking the place of overseers, um, teachers, employers, doctors, even attorneys, people that you hire and pay. Um, someone else is, you know, maybe paying them more or, you know, is paying their bosses more or whatever. It's actually becomes a hierarchical slave system because the doctors also seem to be somewhat enslaved to the system as well. So, um, the system of slavery that exists, that continues to exist in the United States through MKUltra or mind control or whatever you want to call it, even if it's not technically MKUltra anymore, is very elaborate and very um, real. And it's not just about somebody whose mind is programmed to be slave. It's actually, you're physically enslaved because of all these um, manipulations that go on around you. But alter means an alternate personality, and so um, there might be something else being said here. I'm not sure. Maybe they're just saying that this is an alternative slavery system, because that is true. It is an alternative slavery. It is a slavery system, but it's it's a different type. It's not exactly you know the same as the type of slavery system that we ended with the Civil War and the Emancipation Proclamation. Although you know even that seems to have been hard to kill entirely, but this is an, another parallel um, 
slavery system that's continuing to run and is being fed by people's silence about it. So as I dream this, Chris wakes and wants to sit up. And so, you know, to me, that's a, um, although he said it wasn't his heart bothering him, that's a key to me that, you know, maybe this is linked to heart stuff and um, something is going on with Chris's heart. But not only that, if, it, if that's the case, it seems to be an externally created thing. Because here I dreamt this thing that I linked to um, manipulations on Chris's heart, this shape that I've come to link to that. And Chris then wakes up right after I have this dream and wants to sit up, suggesting to me that his heart is actually being manipulated. Continue, you know, it continues to be manipulated. And the cat also meowed to wake me up. So um, the cat also can be, you know, um, be, her behavior can be triggered with mind control technology and frequently is. By the way, when I, um, uh, I went out to get a bagel this morning and, um, there was a can of Frisky's cat food next to the, um, some of the sidewalk, um, the painting that is on the sidewalks right now that says LOC, and right next to that there was a big Frisky's cat food container, and I walked to get the bagel, and as, as I walked back, that gray cat, Oliver, appeared right where that Frisky's cat food container was and started to meow at me, um, so... I've noticed as I've walked around the neighborhood with the cat behavior that there's actually, I think, quite a few cats that are um, being manipulated with mind control technology to the point where some of these, these animals' behaviors can be really precisely manipulated. You know, um, how they scratch, when they meow, uh, the crows, you know, they make the crows poop. <laughs> They make the crows open their mouths. They make the crows, you know, do different types of behaviors. So there's a lot of actual um, mind control animals around Portland, both wild animals and pets, as well as humans. 4.04 a.m., image of a big Adam's peanut butter jar with white sugar in it. So this is a, I note that it's a return repeated image, so I had this just as a single solitary image coming to me in a flash at four in the morning, but I realized that it is something I had dreamt about earlier in the night, but I had forgotten, possibly linked with um, the stuff about the Thompson family, though I'm not sure certain. And this is actually something that we have, and that we use these big Adams peanut butter jars to keep sugar in, but I've just, you know, I've become increasingly aware that Adams peanut butter is involved in corrupt activities. And possibly even involved in um, Chris's tendency to binge on peanut butter, to crave on peanut butter and to binge on peanut butter, that that may actually be linked directly to the Adams Peanut Butter Company. And I had asked Chris to stop buying Adams yesterday for that reason, because it appears that they're just a, a corrupt company. I guess the sugar is um, probably symbolic, just like, you know, other stuff like... Um, you know, milk and cookies and coffee and donuts and all of that kind of stuff of, you know, corruption. At 412, I have a flash image, an understanding that the burning rope around the faces on the Be Humble video is linked to the B skep, you know, beehive, B skep. So I just, in my earlier video that I just finished doing, I said that, you know, um, because that seemed like it was linked with the dream about the Thompsons and their four people with these burning, with these ropes around their face that, you know, maybe that they are meant to evoke the four people who were killed in 1968, the year I was born. And then, you know, Kendrick Lamar is in the center in white with the word dreamer written on it, his sweatshirt. I'm woken as the words casual sex are on in my brain, paired with an image of a girl, me, looking at something on her shirt. It's like this photo of me making Christmas cookies as a child. So that also is the photo that I showed in the last video I made. So there's the images of the burning rope. There's the image of me with the cookies. Now in this actual photograph, I'm not looking at my shirt, I'm looking at the cookies. But I've noticed that um, it 
common theme is to show people with something yellow on their shirt, like a yellow, like it looks like mustard stain or something like that on their shirts. And so in this dream, it's paired with, um, paired with the phrase casual sex. So, um, that must be linked to the idea of the stains on people's shirts, whatever it really means.